everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today we're going to talk about stuff that I put on my notebook. And the first thing we're going to talk about, let's talk potty talk. Uh, now, get that look off your face. You have the same look that Jim did. Uh, 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 uh. Not that kind of potty talk. This is different potty talk. Okay, the potty talk. <laughs> I know. Okay, he's shaking his head. He says, okay, I know. Yeah, well, they did. They had the same look you had when I said potty talk. <laughs> okay. How does your body know? Now, like when I was working, um, now this is going to be about going potty. You know, the, the one, those of you that know the numbers, number one and number two, <laughs> Oh gosh, we all do it. Anyways, how does your body know? Like when I was working, how did my body know that I didn't have time for number two until I got home from work? But yet on the weekend, it says, hey, you've got all the time in the world. And now that I'm retired, I've got all the time in the world. But it was funny because whenever you have to go to work, it seemed like it would wait till we got home from work. Does your potty do that too? I don't know. Um, so that's that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, also, I was thinking about people when they die. A lot of people have been cremated lately, and then they have their ashes spread here or spread there or thrown over the, into the water or brought up to the mountains or just scattered or maybe they have a garden in front of their house and they want it scattered around that special garden that they had. How do people find their ancestors? Like when my husband was looking to do um, his family tree with his brother, they went riding around to cemeteries and they would find the lot where the, the or the plot where someone was buried and it would have on a, have a stone there and the stone would say their name, the date that they were born and the date that they died. But if your ashes are everywhere, is there gonna be a directory to tell that you were born this day and you died this day and where will that directory be that was something that was on my mind um then are we blessed or are we just lucky i often wonder about that too you know because there's there's some people that no matter what they do they have they are really blessed i guess because they got a lot of luck or is it just blessed is, are they just lucky or are they blessed i don't know um, and then there's the needs and our wants. We have things that we need to survive, and then there's things that we want to make our life, I guess, easier or maybe cluttered. Then we have stuff. We don't want to go to stuff. We don't want to go there. Then I was thinking about the chickens, and the chickens have different classes. And the hen pecking thing is, is what I was thinking about. And people have it too. And Jane, thank you so much. I was having a hard time trying to figure out the word I was looking for. And it was hierarchy. There is a hierarchy and there's a class. Are you in the upper class, middle class, or the bottom class? Which would be the henpecked area in the chicken world. Which is sad because they, the, the henpecking is a real thing. And people henpeck. That's why they, I think the word term henpeck came along, because people do it too. And there was um, one of the musicals, um, I don't know what the musical is, but it was where they said, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, cheep, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more. And then they sing, good night, ladies. And the girls are going, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, cheep, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more. And the boys are singing, good night, ladies. I don't know what musical it's from, but... Um, it was a good music, and that's where they have the guy that's talking about pool with a capital P, and it rhymes, wait a minute, trouble, capital T, and it rhymes with P, which stands for pool, which is another song that was in that musical. Okay, but I don't know the name of it. I don't know. Um, and people now, when they're making recipes, the last, I don't know, maybe five to ten years, they've been saying, instead of saying stirring well, they say incorporate well. <laughs> Did it make it sound more fancy? I don't know, maybe. And do you want to embellish or do you want to elaborate? 
that's the same thing too. That's just one, one word is a little fancier than the other. So instead of elaborating on a story, we're going to embellish the story. And I guess that's it for today. Oh, I had one more thing. Remember I talked about my ghosts that are in the house? What? Music man is the man. Music man? The oh, it was music man, people. With the talk a little piccolo, talk a little piccolo, cheek, 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 talk a little piccolo more. I love that. I like it when you can get both parts going at the same time, but my husband can't sing, so I can't even ask him to do it. No. Okay. Um, I had mentioned my ghost at one time where I had, I had lost my bracelet. My bracelet, I only took it off in the bathroom, and I ended up finding it in in one of my living rooms. Well, upstairs in the hallway, I had this fan. It's a window fan, and I had my pink ukulele was there for ever and a day. I vacuumed and I'd move them and I'd put them back right there because that's where I wanted it. Um, and this one day, I noticed the fan was there, but the ukulele was gone. And I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. My husband and I, we searched, and we searched, and we searched for this. I even went to the attic, because that's where Sally and George are supposed to be living. At least I think that's where they live. Maybe they're in the house somewhere. I don't know. They may have chosen one of the bedrooms. But anyways, we looked around, and I says, how can we not find this? It's a pink ukulele. Red. Red? Oh, yeah, it's red. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking bright. It's red. <laughs> Colors either. <laughs> okay, now he's shaking his head again. Oh no, two head shakes, that's not good. And the shake of a lamb's tail next. <laughs> no, no, okay. All right. Um, well, anyways, this ukulele, one of the my grandkids come out and they say, Nona, look. And they show me this. I says, Where did you find it? It was tucked behind this um, case that was underneath a bunch of clothes and you know we looked everywhere we even looked there and it wasn't there but we've got it now so everything has been found that has been lost and until the next time that Sally or George takes something and this one is the worst one to play this one doesn't even keep a tune I don't know why they would even want that one they should choose one of my other ukuleles if they want to play but maybe they just like making noise or just carry it around because it's pretty. Um, I bought this for the kids so that they could just, so when we when we do instruments, they just, see, it's, it's, it's really out of tune. <laughs> it doesn't hold the tune. We changed these knobby things because it wouldn't, it was just like a peg that was in the hole and that peg would go, it would slip back, and these don't hold either. They're, they're, it's just not a good ukulele. It was just, it's more for pretty. But anyways, that, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself and stayed cool if you're hot and stayed warm if you're cold, because I know on the other side of the world, what, you're a fan in yourself? I do have a fan. Oh, um, teen, I thought of something else when you did the fanning. Tina had a fan. Tina um, from Net, Net and Tina. She had a fan the one day and I was thinking, you know, I should go get my fan. I have a fan that I got from Spain. It's a real pretty fan. Maybe I should use that sometime. I don't know. But anyways, that's it. Okay. I'm done. Now we can say goodbye. Bye.